<laughs> this is what it's really like to film. You see all this prettiness, and then you look around, and it's like, <laughs> there's a shovel. We work so hard to hide our feelings, hide our faith, save our faces, try to do right, try to be like. We're faking every night, so take or leave it, so I left for good. Now you suck the past, damn fire, and it won't feel like. Even though Nutella is not good for you physically, it's just good for the soul. So let's go ahead and make this Wendy's Frosties inspired shake with Nutella. So here I have all the products right in front of me. You don't necessarily have to use the exact same things that I'm using, but I'm going to have the ingredients down below if you just want to make one serving, or in my case, I'm making eight servings. And I think the serving size is kind of small, personally. Us Americans can agree that serving sizes we don't necessarily always listen to, so it's okay. So I have a blender right here, and that's going to be key for this recipe, unless you just want to really get an arm workout in a bowl, you can do that too. And then I have some almond milk, and I preferred chocolate kind, just to make this even better. And then I have heavy whipping cream, this is key for this little recipe. And then pure vanilla extract, Truvia or Stevia, and then I'm using PB2, which is peanut butter but in powdered form with chocolate, but you could also use actual Nutella, but I just preferred to have the powdered kind so it would work better with the consistency and everything. And then measuring cups, I have a half cup and a full cup. You're going to need some ice, and if you want to, you can have little cute jars like these. I got them at Target. You're going to need a bowl, and I recommend using some spatulas. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm gonna take three cups of heavy whipping cream. Again, if you're just doing one serving for yourself or smaller servings than I am, which is eight servings, that's what I decided to do, then you don't need all this heavy whipping cream, but since I like to go big or go home, we're just gonna go ahead and add that amount. So one, two, and three. So that's all we need for heavy whipping cream. Now we're gonna need two and a half cups of almond milk. If you want to, you can use soy milk, regular milk, but I prefer almond milk just because I think it's the healthiest option. There's one cup. And it's gonna look pretty cool because this is chocolate kind mixing with the heavy whipping cream. And then one half cup, two and a half cups. Now you're gonna need one tablespoon of vanilla that looks like a big serving, but really, for eight people, it's just the right amount. So now we're gonna need three-fourths cups of Truvia. Three-fourths cups right in the bowl. Now I'm using the PB2 peanut butter and chocolate powder, or you could use Nutella and you can be as giving or as taking as you want with that. I know some of us like Nutella more than others, so I think I'm just gonna go about a cup with this, or maybe even three-fourths a cup and into the bowl. Now before we add this into the blender and everything with the ice, I'm just gonna go ahead and slightly stir this up. Now when you think all the powder is completely into the mixture, then we can go ahead and add it into the blender with some ice. And it depends on how many servings you're making, but I have about three cups of ice here, and I might just add a little bit less, might add a little bit more. You have to be kind of slow with putting it into the blender just to see the type of the consistency that you want. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we have our blender ready. So I'm gonna add my ice first. This is crushed ice, and this is key in order to make this succeed, because if you just had regular ice, then it would be quite awfully hard to blend. So I'm just gonna add about a cup, I'd say, to the bottom. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of my mixture to it. And I'm gonna use this with measuring cups just so it doesn't overflow and spill. By the way, I tasted the mixture without any of the ice or anything. It's already delish, already delish. Yeah, let's just taste it right now. I feel like this, could, this mixture could make like a really good cake or something. All right, I added about three to four cups into the blender and now I'm gonna add a little bit more of my ice. There we go. Add a little bit more of the mixture, 
about two cups. And some more ice, just keep on repeating that. Woo. So I just emptied all of my ice, just gonna make sure that's in there good. And I'm going to put the excess in the container. Now I do have a little bit left in the bowl and I can add that whenever I start to blend it. But since it's almost completely filled, we wanna leave some room for it to blend and you know get everything up and moving. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and start blending. All we gotta do is hold it down and pulse it a little. I'd say blend for consecutively like 20 seconds just so it starts to get going. I'd say it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and try this thing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. Mmm. That tastes good. That tastes real good. I think one thing that I could have improved on this is to use a little bit less Truvia, but uh, it still tastes pretty good. And if you're just making one serving, I'm sure it's like the perfect amount. So let's go ahead and put them in our cute little containers. Topping it off. You have to try this. All right. <laughs> Smells good. Please say it's good even if it's not. <laughs> it's like a Wendy's shake with Nutella in it. Wait, are you allergic to peanut butter? Oh my god. No. Yeah. It looks pretty good, good isn't it? Good. All right, so that's how you make this really, really, really good delicious shake. All the ingredients will be down in the description. If you want to make it yourself, I highly recommend you do. Even if you post it on Instagram, Twitter, whatever it may be, just let me know that you do it so that I can see. Share this video with your friends. If you're all out hanging out on a weekend, then you guys can make <laughs> these little shakes and it'll be a fun time. If you guys enjoyed it and you want more DIY videos, make sure you thumbs it up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers!